Welcome. Today we're joined by Dr. Denton Cooley, a native Houstonian and the actual founder of the Texas Heart Institute. What a pleasure uh, to be with you today, Dr. Cooley. Thank you for joining us. Well, you're welcome. And thank you for visiting our institution. Can you tell us a, a little background about how the Texas Heart Institute became an entity? Well, it, uh, I think, began in the mid-1950s when open heart surgery was first introduced uh, in our Texas Medical Center. And uh, before long, my program here at St. Luke's and Children's Hospital was probably the most prolific of all institutions in the country, including the Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic, and everything. And we had a simplified technique of open heart surgery and soon began a, a leadership position uh, in this new field of cardiac surgery. Well, then I decided to create this institute in 1962. So it's been a little over 50 years ago. What is your most uh, vivid memory about the Texas Heart Institute, about um, any type of um, incredible uh, learning uh, that has been occurring here? What, what's your greatest memory? Well, of course, our Heart Institute was created with two objectives, that is research and education. So in each of those aspects of our uh, uh, history, I think uh, there are certain exciting things that have happened. And when the Texas Heart Institute first came into being, cardiothoracic surgery was um, high on the list of um, uh, available uh, procedures to be done for patients. Now we have uh, the artificial heart and uh, the LVADs. And so how, how do you, would you tell the audience about that? Well, I think that uh, it shows the evolution of, of cardiac surgery. First, we started off uh, replacing just some of the components of the, of the human heart. That is the um, valves and the great vessels and modifying the ventricles and that sort of thing. And then the big uh, breakthrough came uh, in 1968 uh, when we did the first successful heart transplant to replace the entire organ. And that was really an exciting period that followed that. It was such a, a new concept. Amazing, right? Yeah. And we have actual um, uh, volunteers here at the hospital who have uh, been survivors of, for, car from cardiac transplant for about 20 years now. Oh, yes. It, it, our initial work and transplantation, we did, uh, I think, about 15 or 20 heart transplants in that early era. But so many of these patients uh, suffered from rejection of the tissues. But in the early 1980s, a new breakthrough came with the development of a drug called cyclosporin, which is still in use today and has made it possible for some patients to survive transplantation for uh, 20 or 30 years. So it's a really a big change. Quite miraculous. And you are such a part of that. Um, endeavor and we we humbly thank you for everything you've done for the world population actually. Well, it's been great <laughs> satisfaction to me to see how this uh, institution and our whole medical center has grown uh, during my lifetime. Thank you and now we're taking you again all over the world with Best uh, Docs Network and um, we just uh, wonder if you have something um, in these closing remarks if you can tell our public um, something about the Texas Heart Institute that you would like them to take to heart? Well, I think that we have done a great deal to uh, reach our objective, original objective of research and education. But at the same time, we've made many advances in just clinical uh, medicine and surgery and uh, have enjoyed a leadership position in this new uh, development now. Uh, it's, it has sort of uh, inspired the entire um, medical community around the world. And you can find uh, large cardiac programs going in Europe and South America and, and elsewhere in North America. Just amazing to see how rapidly it's expanded. Well, for all of us who have trained 
under your great leadership, we humbly thank you and uh, we give you great honor, Dr. Cooley. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, thank you.